I'm Dan Ackerman and we are here with the new Mac Pro desktop from Apple. This is a radical redesign of the concept of a professional desktop. It's meant to replace that big boxy Mac Pro uh, that you've probably seen in your office or seen other people with for years. That design has not changed in a long time. What Apple has done here is take essentially the same high powered professional components and boil them down into this small cylinder that is about a tenth of the size, also much lighter. And part of the way they do that uh, is by fitting everything inside around uh, kind of a three-sided triangular heatsink slash motherboard. You have RAM over here and over here that's very easily accessible. Uh, your video cards are over here and here this is the solid state uh, hard drive. Uh, you know it is user accessible there's not really uh, any reason to go in and replace that right now but at least that's something else you can get to. Uh, this is not nearly as expandable as a full tower desktop but at least there are some user accessible parts inside and they combine that with a single fan uh, that's also very quiet and it kind of sucks hot air up and you can feel a little bit of it coming out of the top of the system here. And the end effect is you have something that is as powerful or more so than those big gigantic Mac Pros, but it's very small, very portable, uh, can really sit next to you on your desk rather than like under it or in a closet somewhere. Even though this is a very high design product, it's been described as looking like anything from a small beer keg to a part of a jet engine, all clad in sort of like Darth Vader black, this is not uh, really intended for the same consumers who would go out and buy, let's say, a MacBook Air or even an iMac. Uh, it's intended for people who edit video and do a lot of professional graphic design or 3D graphics and things like that. That said, you could use this as your home computer, but it's a pretty hefty investment. Starts at $3,000 and goes up from there. Uh, I'm almost afraid to tell you that this particular configuration uh, has uh, two of the higher end uh, AMD Fire Pro graphics cards. It's got 64 gigs of RAM. It's got a one terabyte solid state hard drive. All that adds up to about $8,000. Uh, but the $29.99 configuration is also plenty powerful. Uh, the big conceit here is that a lot of your accessories and new stuff is going to be added externally through the six Thunderbolt 2 ports that are in the back of this. Uh, so you have gigantic hard drive arrays and other things that you use. Uh, they're going to be external rather than internal, whereas in an old Mac Pro you might have just opened up the side and put in you know, a card. The system is being very heavily pitched as being for 4K video use and you can uh, connect up to three 4K monitors at once using either the Thunderbolt 2 or the single uh, HDMI port that's in the back. It's got some of the uh, new upgrades we're starting to see from a lot of PC makers. It's got the faster 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. Uh, it's got PCIe uh, connection for the SSD drive so that should make that a little bit faster as well. It's still very early days for the new Mac Pro, which is a fairly radical reimagining of what it means to be a high-powered professional desktop computer. Uh, so we're going to have to take some more time, run a lot of tests, run Final Cut 10 on it, output all kinds of 4K video to different displays. But at least in our very initial hands-on testing, this certainly feels like a very fast, very powerful, very sexy, uh, high-powered pro-grade desktop computer. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the Apple Mac Pro.